What is going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a custom god ray. So as you can see here, I have a god ray that I can actually physically move around. And this is great if you specifically want to set up where the god rays will come through because it won't always work from a light shaft on your um, directional light. So if we look around my map at the moment, I have a few set up here. And they give quite a nice effect on certain areas of the map. So I'm going to show you how to do it today and I'm going to show you some editing of this one. So coming to here, I can change the colour of it, so if I bring it up here, and make it smaller, I can change the colour of it to make it more yellow, so we can actually make it into like a, um, one for daytime, um, so it doesn't just have to be a, um, nighttime moon ray, so, I'm going to show you how to do it today, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into Maya and make the actual mesh for this, so the mesh is pretty much just a cone, so we come into Maya, Start making our mesh. Get a cylinder. Let's make the sides 20. Just make it a bit easier. Let's delete the top and bottoms. So you don't need to use Maya, you can use any 3D package you've got. It doesn't really matter. And let's just scale that down. And that, mm, scale it down a little bit. Oop. Select your GVs. Boop. Scale it down a little bit more. And that should work just fine. Now let's go into the UV map and pretty much let's make the UVs go to the top, go to the bottom, stretch them out. Can I make them clip when stretching? No, I can't. So to make them clip, hold X and select them, hold X and just drag it and it will clip to the boundaries of the UVs. And that should be fine. So now I already have a file on desktop, I'm just going to overwrite it, so it's going to call it God Ray, so there you go, yes, and now we need to go into Photoshop and we need to make a mask for it, so go File New, here, and what the mask needs to do is make so the top of the God Ray is slightly transparent and the bottom of the God Ray sort of fades into transparency, so the way we're going to do this is go into your gradient mask, come up to Here, yeah, okay, click on that. God, can remember then, just click on that one. Just clicked on this box, will come up. So, I'll show you that again. Just click there, add just one here, make that one, I believe, white, and make this one black, like that. So, that way, black will be where it's transparent, and white will be where it's not transparent. So, it'll be transparent to not transparent, and it'll fade into transparency. Click yes from the top to the bottom. Boom, and that should be the alpha map we need, or the mask we need, should I say. Go to your desktop, Targa, call it God Ray Mask. I've already got one, so I'm just going to replace it. Yes, and drag both of those into our engine. So I've already got a file here set up called test. Drag them in. Is it going to drag in? Drag them in. There we go. And import. So that will come with a texture already. So let's put that in. And that looks awful right now because it's just got a normal texture. Mm -hmm. Let's set it up so when it's done, it should look fine. And come into your texture that it's brought in for you. Drag in our alpha. And we're gonna what we're gonna want to do. So if I am um, actually select our mesh in the editor then click this we'll be able to see what it looks like on the actual mesh Mishy mesh so that's just black right now so what we're going to want to do is if we first put this into a passy on its own and click on this and set this to translucent it will start doing it for us we want to add a color here convert to a constant make this slightly blue i guess That's fine, click apply, well I don't need to click apply yet, so that's the first stage done. Um, you can then put this into your opacity and then select up, select up an opacity strength. I believe opacity works best at sort of point 0.3 because you want it to sort of fade still. Um, there you go, and call it emissive. 
I guess sun rays will be a bit more stronger than moon rays. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to set up because like as we look here, if we apply it and just minimize this window. As you can see, it's working fine, but the edges aren't fading. That's very important. We want the edges to fade. We don't want it to be that sharp. So, jump into here. What we need to do is we need to set up a Fresnel. So, you could probably do this in other ways. I use a Fresnel just because it works and I like using it. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to come into here, set that to 0.5, and set that to 0.2. Get a lap. Then the alphas. So what Fresnel does is it changes. Kind of, it works really well in cylinder or a, a sphere because what it changes, it masks out. Sort of depending on the curvature of the object. So the further the further the angle gets away from you, the more it, it will apply to Fresnel. It's the best way I can explain it. It's probably not a great way to explain it, but it's the best way I can think of. Um. So we want to put that to there, and we want to make this minus 0.01, minus, like minus 0 0.1, okay, yeah, that's it. And then we're going to want to just multiply these two together. And then we can just come up to here and convert that to transparency. Ugh, Strength, because that will that will sort of how strong how transparent it will be, and this one, stop that. This oh god, yeah, a clear driving yeah, converted parameter. This one will be how strong the outline is, or how weak should I say the outline is? That's why it's in minus. Connect that up. There we go. Looks a bit better. If we click apply. That should when it loads should work, and for some reason my asset has come through um, not smooth. So if we just use this one and throw it onto there, boop, we can see it's working perfectly fine. And as I said, if I go into here, we have a few. Oh wait, sorry. If I create material instance, then throw it on. We have a few things we could change. We can make it more blue because that's not blue enough. We can turn up or down the emissive. I think it should be a bit weaker, to be honest. We can turn up and down the outline. So what that does is this is a bit sharp, and that'd be great for cartoons, to be honest. But yeah, you make it weaker, and it'll make it a bit more softer on the edges. And then transparency as a whole, so we can really faint. So yeah, that's how you make the uh, material. I don't know why that came through. The way it did, um, very interesting. But yeah, that's how you set up your basic material for a sort of your god ray. Um, this again, it's a very basic way. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped, and bye bye.